everyone, my name is Desola, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel! Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've seen my videos before and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and put on the location bell so that you know when I put up a new video. I'm an African inspired registered fashion designer based here in Lagos, Nigeria and I've been in business for over 10 years. So here on my channel I talk about being a fashion designer, running a business, running a clothing business, all things business, all things fashion and sometimes once in a while I talk about my life. So in today's video I'll be talking about three mistakes to avoid when starting a ready-to-wear business. So like I said, I'm an African-inspired ready-to-wear fashion designer. I make my designs and I sell my designs right here in my store. And this is what I've done for over 10 years. So you may be thinking of starting a ready-to-wear business or you may have already started a ready-to-wear business and you're watching this video thinking of, you know, what I'm about to tell you about starting a ready-to-wear business, the mistakes that you shouldn't make. So in running my business for a couple of years, I have learned a lot of things. And in the process of learning all these things, there's a result of the mistakes that I've made in my business. And there are mistakes that I have learned from. And some of these mistakes I want to share with you. So the first mistake you shouldn't make when you're running a ready-to-wear business or when you're about to start a ready-to-wear business is expectations so what do I mean by expectations expectations of your customers so for example you start ready to wear business and you're thinking to yourself that like, okay um, when I start this ready to wear business you know this person is going to come and buy from me my friends my family my relatives my co-workers my church members my this my that um, this person from that group, this person from that society is going to come and buy from me and you know by the time this person comes, that person comes, we're going to make all this money and everything will go rosy and everything will be well. <sighs> the thing is, when you start a very to business, don't have high expectations of your customers, especially when they are your family members, when they're your relatives, because at the end of the day, the people that you are counting on to help you jumpstart this ship that you have just started may not necessarily be there to buy from you. I don't know the reason why. I don't know why it happens that way but I've come to realize that the people that you expect to buy from you will not always buy from you. So what am I trying to say? When you start a business always have an open mind. When you start a ready to wear business have who your ideal customers are. Your ideal customer or your family members or your relatives or your friends may not be your ideal customer. When I first started my business, I thought to myself that my ideal customers were going to be young girls like me, you know, fashion forward, trendy, blah, 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 blah. But it turned out that my target customers were not what I thought my customers were mature women married women 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 not girls women women i was targeting girls but women were coming more for my clothing and the thing is some of your friends they they mean well for you but they're not your target audience you know your target audience they're not people that um, see the vision of your business the way you see it. Then they, they don't resonate with the clothes 
that you have designed or the clothes that you are selling, basically. Don't get me wrong, they don't wish you bad. Some of them may actually wish you very, very well, but they may not necessarily be your customers. In the early years of my business, I didn't really have family or friends really buying from me like that. But years down the line, when I had um, improved myself and I had um, turned the business around literally, you know, friends and family were coming to buy from me. But the thing was, I wasn't treating them like friends and family, I was treating them like customers. And when I say treating them like customers, I don't treat my customers badly. But what I'm saying is that, regardless of whether you're a friend or a family, you're treated like a customer, you're treated properly, you pay when you're supposed to pay, like every other customer. You may get a, a discount, a 10%, a 5%, a 15%, like normal customers, but we don't do, we're family, we're friends, and then, you know, we'll pay you half now, we'll pay you half later, or we'll pay you the money next week. No, we're running a business, okay? The number two mistake a lot of people make when starting a ready to wear business. So for example, if you are not manufacturing your clothes by yourself or you don't have a factory and you are outsourcing to other people to produce for you. A lot of people make this mistake of giving so many different people pieces to make. So this person is making this, this person is making that, that person is making this. And at the end of the day, if you're not keeping an eye on what everybody is doing, you find out that there's a difference in finishing. So in ready to wear, finishing is very, very important. Finishing is literally everything in ready to wear. So if your finishing is not good, it can be a problem. Not even can be a problem, it is a problem if you don't have very good finishing. So you have to make sure that the finishing of all your outlets have to correspond with one another as much as possible so you find people producing things that this one is neat well finished well done that one is a bit sketchy and this one is um manageable you don't really want that you want consistency when you when you're starting a ready-to-wear business and running a ready-to-wear business you want to be consistent consistent in in your finishing consistent in the quality of the clothes that you are selling to your customers you don't want to be like those people that you see them online and they say this thing of what i saw versus what was delivered to me or what i bought so you want to be as consistent as possible Another mistake that people make when they are starting a ready to wear business or in a ready to wear business is that just like my first point, they have expectations of people that will come and buy from them and all that and they become very lazy about marketing the business. The thing is that when you run a ready to wear business, you constantly have to market your business. The way you market your business is very, 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 very important, especially a small business. It is very, very important. Sometimes you go to some people's pages, when you go on their page, probably like the Instagram page, and all you see there is um, random pictures, or they show, put up pictures of clothes that they have, or they've made, and things like that, and then you now see some things that, that don't even have anything to do with the clothes, some random post here, some random post there. Ugh. When you're in a business, you have to always put your best foot forward because first impression means a lot. First impression goes a very, 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 very long way. So if someone comes in contact with your business and they realize that your business is not um, <laughs> your business is not as organized as um, as it should be. 
first of all, the trust is not there. And when the trust is not there, they are not willing to give you their money. You have to market your business. You have to market your business as much as possible. I have a video on my channel, or I have two videos on my channel where, that you can watch to know the different ways in which you can market your ready-to-wear business. Because at the end of the day, when you start a ready-to-wear business, the whole idea of marketing your business is for your customers, your ideal customers, is to know you, to like you, and trust you. When your customers know you, and they like what you do, and they trust your business. Trust me, they are more willing to give you their money. And if they don't have the money to give you, they are more than willing to refer other people to your business. So it's very, very important to represent your business properly. Represent your business properly online. Represent your business properly, physically, if you run a physical business. So my video for today is done. If you enjoyed watching my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. And so I will see you soon. Bye.